Boston The Boston Red Sox stumbled on their way to an Al East title and got a pretty scary look at what's waiting for them if they get there. Major League batting leader Jose Altuve had three of Houston's 17 hits, Carlos Correa had four and the Astros chased Red Sox starter Eduardo Rodriguez in the second inning on Thursday night to win 122 and keep Boston from clinching the division title. We ran into a buzzsaw tonight, Red Sox manager John Farrell said. If the standings don't change, the Red Sox and AL West champion Astros would meet in the Alts. The Red Sox were guaranteed no worse than a tie for the division title when the Yankees lost 96 to Tampa Bay, lowering Boston's magic number to one. I'm pretty sure we'll see them again, Houston third baseman Alex Bregman said. Now we've seen them once. Boston needs one more win or Yankees lost to clinch the first back-to-back -back division titles in franchise history otherwise, the teams would meet in a Vonnegum tiebreaker in New York on Monday to see who needs to play in the wild-card game and who advances to the AL Division Series. The sooner the better, Farrell said. But still we're not taking anything for granted. Altuve had two singles and his 39th double to raise his batting average to .350. Brad Peacock 132 allowed two runs and four hits in five innings, striking out two and walking one as he tried to convince manager A.J. Hinch that he deserves a spot in the postseason rotation. I'm sure they'll tell me something in the next couple of days, said Peacock, who is fighting to join the staff, that will include Justin Verlander and Dallas Kugel and potentially Colin McHugh, Charlie Morton and Lance McCullers. They've got six good starters to choose from. Marwin Gonzalez hit a three-run double in the first inning, and Alex Bregman hit a two-run homer off Rodriguez 67 in the second. Correa had an RBI double in the fourth, when the Astros scored four runs and added a two-run homer in the seventh. Brian McCann also homered for Houston. Mitch Moreland homered for Boston. The Astros had already clinched the AL West title. They remain one game behind the Cleveland Indians in the chase for the best record in the league and home field advantage through the American League playoffs. Quick work Rodriguez got in trouble early, loading the bases with one out in the first on a walk and two singles. After Evan Gaddis struck out looking, Gonzalez hit a possess clearing double into the right center gap. Rodriguez got the first two outs of the second before George Springer singled, and Bregman hit an 0-2 pitch out to make it 50. After a visit by the pitching coach, the Red Sox left-hander walked Correa and that was it. In all Rodriguez allowed five runs, six hits and two walks in 123 innings, striking out two. We've got to lead the way from the mound, Farrell said. Trainers room Astros RF Josh Reddick Sorbach missed his fourth straight game. He had been expected to return on Thursday night, but Hinch said Reddick felt sore after the flight to Boston. Any semblance of soreness or tentativeness on his part, and has just not going to play. It's not worth it for one game until the soreness is gone, Hinch said. Red Sox are F. Mookie Betts returned to the lineup after missing two games with inflammation in his left wrist. He was hitless in three at bets. Up next, the teams play game two of their Frigham, CSUN ending series on Friday night. RHP Charlie Morton 137, 3.63 ERA who has won two straight starts and three of four in September, will face Boston RHP Doug Fister 58, 4.87, who is winless in his last three starts as he faces his former team.